It's clear that the Earth's climate is changing rapidly. According to a group of scientists, it's now having a serious impact on historical U.S. monuments, monuments like the Statue of Liberty. Patrice Howard has the story. Taking a snapshot with Lady Liberty is a must for many tourists exploring New York City. The statue has become one of America's strongest symbols of freedom, standing tall in the harbor for more than a century. When Superstorm Sandy slammed the city's coastline in 2012, floodwaters and gale force winds pummeled the iconic 305 foot statue, but didn't break her. Scientists say next time she may not be so lucky. Superstorm Sandy was worse because of climate change and also that we will get more storms and more extreme weather in the future. So there are very strong trends that scientists can see showing that extreme precipitation, extreme drought uh, are all getting worse. Planet Earth is warming up, according to Adam Markham. He's with the Union of Concerned Scientists, a group whose recent study argues that America's iconic landmarks those that tell the story of the nation's past are in clear and present danger, driven by climate change. The report points to Lady Liberty, nearby Ellis Island, and more than 20 other historic hotspots that will be wiped out by bad weather, unless lawmakers and local citizens alike take steps to mitigate the effects of climate change. We focused on these landmarks because they're important to Americans, but they're also important worldwide. Uh, we attract millions of tourists to this country every year, and millions of Americans will take their summer vacations in these places, and so we just can't afford to lose them. Which begs the question, who can afford to protect American cities from superstorms of the future? The price tag for New York's Sandy recovery was more than 42 billion U.S. dollars spent to fix housing, rebuild infrastructure, and repair public transit. The government reacted by footing the bill, but Roland Lewis of the Waterfront Alliance said Sandy is like a leaky pipe, a sign of things to come. He said the only way to protect cities like New York is not to plug the leak, but to spend proactively on new infrastructure that will hold up in future squalls. There's hundreds of millions, billions of dollars of investment to readjust Re, uh, you know, acclimate uh, our infrastructure, our coastline to sea level rise. It's a gigantic investment. It takes tax resources, financing. It'll take engineering. It's a, it's a put the man on the moon mission. It's, it's something we all have to get, gather around. The Obama administration recently took action on the issue with a pledge to reduce emissions by 26 to 28 percent below its 2005 level by 2025. We have to work together as a global community to tackle this global threat before it is too late. But Lewis says the government needs to turn promises into action sooner rather than later. We've all seen those post-apocalyptic uh, movies where uh, poor Lady Liberty is, is drowning and the, 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 the torches are popping up above the water. Even if the water got to her feet, if she had to wear galoshes, I think that would drive the point home. And it, it, unfortunately, that's, that's where it's going. Hollywood has taken a few liberties to paint a picture of climate change's potentially deep impact. But scenes from Sandy's aftermath reveal that catastrophic weather events can no longer be labeled as science fiction. The concerned scientists say landmarks like Lady Liberty are treasures from the last generation who pushed for a better future. They say taking proactive steps to stop climate change now is perhaps the best gift this generation can give to the next. Patrice Howard for Telesaur, New York.